WHO Wuhan mission finds possible signs of wider original outbreak in 2019 including establishing for the first time there were over a dozen strains of the virus in Wuhan already in December 2019. This post received a score of 35,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Variants. Not strains. Come on now. The original article is okay on this. Bad post title. So for those who claimed COVID hit the states earlier than thought, is it now possible they were right? Edit, I was enjoying responding to all the replies, but it's so much now that Reddit Mobile won't even take me to the direct replies. Sorry if I'm ghosting any conversations. Stay healthy and safe all. I'm an MN and we didn't have our first official case until March 6, 2020. However, I work in a hospital and we started noticing a huge uptick of pneumonia cases in late dec, early jan. I swear it was here. They just didn't have the tests. That's honestly what I think and a lot of people I know think. Obviously the virus is a big deal, so that group was wrong there, but I think they were right that this didn't start in March. I live near Seattle so I believe the idea that COVID was here early. We now know that it was in the United States as early as January. But it does not appear that it was widespread at that time. There were people speculating it was even earlier. For example, I went to Vegas and came back with a flu that put me in bed for two weeks personally had the same thing with my wife. I live in a small town and many people felt the same way, that they'd had a ridiculously bad flu right around January, early March. It turns out our local health department was tracking a legitimate flu outbreak then, verified by actual flu tests, so at this point it's basically guaranteed to actually be the flu. So in addition to COVID, there was a legitimately bad strain of the flu going around. There's no way to know what happened in your case, but who knows, it just might actually have been the flu as well. I had a really bad, knock-me-on-my-ass flu in early February that started deep in my chest. 1. I got an antibody test in May, and it threw a negative. 1A. My wife has also gotten an antibody test several times for work, and they've always been negative. 2A. Ditto my wife, but she got a Moderna dose. That's actually really interesting to know about the Pfizer vaccine. I randomly got a fever last year despite having like one fever in my life and supposedly did not have it. I've always wondered but had a very mild reaction to the shot. Just a headache and fatigue. I believe it's both vaccines. It's ostensibly the same effect that people who haven't had COVID previously have when they get the second shot. Your immune system is already primed for a response and gets a much stronger response. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.